All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So to solve this, I'm going to start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So I get x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 times 2. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 3 times 2 is equal to x to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So I get y squared minus y minus 2 equals 0. And now we have a quadratic equation. So now, to solve this quadratic equation and to find both solutions to this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So if you guys already know, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1 because it's the coefficient of our first term, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 2. So now that's all there is left to do is plug these values in to this equation. So I get y equals negative b, so negative of negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 2, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now I get y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 8, because negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 9 over 2. Now the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So I get y is equal to 1 plus or minus 3 over 2. So this gives me two solutions. I have y is equal to 1 plus 3 over 2, and y equals 1 minus 3 over 2. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my first solution is y equals 2. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So my second solution is negative 1. So going back, we let x to the power of 3 equal to y. Let's first start with negative 1. So if y equals negative 1, then I get x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. So now to solve this, I can add 1 on both sides. So I get x to the power of 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x and b is equal to 1. We can rewrite 1 as 1 to the power of 3. So now this turns into x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now I get two equations. I get x plus 1 equals 0 and I also get x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. So for x plus 1 equals 0, all I have to do is subtract 1 and I get x equals negative 1. 
So this is one solution of x. And now for x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0, I have to again use the quadratic formula. So I have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is 1. So I get x equals negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And I get 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 over 2. So I get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. And the square root of negative 3, I can rewrite as the square root of 3i over 2. So these are two imaginary solutions that we have. These aren't real solutions, they're imaginary solutions. So now those are our three solutions for our equation when y equals negative 1. But now let's do it when y equals 2. So if y equals 2, I get x to the power of 3 equals 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the third root on both sides. So, or sorry, the cube root. So the cube root of x to the power of 3 is x. So I get x is equal to cube root of 2. So this is my fourth solution to this equation. And what I'm going to do now is plug these two solutions to check. We can't check this one because it's imaginary. So my equation is x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0. So let's first start by plugging in negative 1. So I get negative 1 to the power of 6 minus negative 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0. Negative 1 to the power of 6 is 1 minus negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1 minus 2 equals 0. 1 minus negative 1 is 2, so I get 2 minus 2 equals 0, so I get 0 is equal to 0. Now I have the cube root of 2, which I'm going to try next. So I get 2 to the power of 1 third, which is the cube root of 2, to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 1 third to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0. 2 to the power of 1 third to the power of 6 is 2 to the power of 2. This is 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 equals 0. So I get 4 minus 2 minus 2 equals 0. So I get 0 equals 0.